Hello everyone, Chopper Gaming here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're back to building another build to the Bard Healer. And this time, the build we're going to use is actually have got sent to me by one of you guys. The name of the one who sent it, he called Zach Fox. I hope I pronounced his name right. I'm pretty sure he will be watching this video. So, uh, today we're talking about this build he's using. And I'll share with you the talent as well as the script stones he have been building up and i just want to know exactly how you guys think about it for me i have been trying out this build and really it have been doing pretty much good especially because i have used it to be clearing complete raids on the elite difficulty even the spider queen and it was really doing great for me so let's just dive into it the first we're going for the skill and then the talent over here he have been going with just one of the passives from the first one. He went first for the torrent and this one he's focusing on the worm current. He made it to level 3. And the reason because it's, you know, he's thinking everyone is going for uh, both of them, the uh, mutual generation as well as the torrent, but he decided to be going for just one the torrent and leaving the three points for the mutual uh, generation to be putting it in another place. So we're starting with the torrent and then we're going down to the harmony master to make it to level three, to be increasing the base crit rate, to be making it uh, increase by 3% as well as the uh, spread. The spread is focusing on the worm current to make the next hope melody to be recovering HP equal to 45% of your attack to all teammates additionally. So it's given an additional HP recovery. And then we're going for the healing sound plus and this one he made it just level 2. I honestly believe it might be good to actually make it to level 3 but he made it this way. I'm just sharing exactly all his build that he has shared with me and really it just his work. If you have any different opinion it just to be sharing it in the comments i'll be more than happy to read it and he also will be doing so and also we have in the sonata this one he made it to level two to be helping out the costing the in the zone immediately to be recovering hp for your alliance affected by your continuous healing so this one is basically focusing on the overall time uh, over time healing from all your skills the the worm current as well as the healing sound and the hope melody. And then he's going for the Aurora's harp, which really interesting. And this one going to be replacing the music wall to the Aurora's harp. And then we're having the uh, gentle flow to be making it to level three, to be increasing the healing over time and reach. And each tick of the healing reduce the cooldown for the song of life by 1.2 seconds going down he's upgrading all the extra skills or extra passive for the aurora's herb here we have in level three for the aurora's guidance and this one whenever aurora's herb uh, heals it also recover hp for your allies affected by the warp current so it's good to be using the aurora's herb after you go for warm current because then it will be given even more healing to your alliance. And then we're having the tempo up to be increasing the, or to be reducing the cooldown for the in the zone skill for every one energy consumed by Aurora's Harp. And then we got the Aurora's Harp Plus to be increasing it to level 3, to be having 6% more base healing and 10% additional crit effect. And also we have in the in the zone blast to be increasing the healing from the in the zone as well as reducing the base cooldown for it too. And then we have in the laws to going to be heavily sound when using the song of life. There is a hundred percent chance of resetting the cooldown for worm current or the music wall and Aurora's herb. So this is good to be get, uh, getting these three skills basically reset to be using again and the last one going to be song of life plus to be increasing the healing by 80 percent and its space duration is increased by four seconds so that was for the talent tree for the healing board for the uh, this build from our friend here 
And now let's go to the unscripted stones. I actually even named this uh, skill tree as well as unscripted with his name to be making sure it's his, you know. <laughs> so uh, we're starting with uh, going to the sides. From the bottom here, we take one on each, only the crit to be making it to level three, as well as the resonation to make it to three. And then we go up. We have in the cooldown, make it to level three as well. And then keep going all the way up here. He's here increasing the crit as well as the resonation. So it feels a bit of a weird build. But still, I can't deny it was really still doing good, which is amazing, honestly. And that's what matters, since we all want to be having a really good amount of healing. Especially since you're going to be one of the main healing into your team in the raids so that's really good to be having this build it was doing the subject it was supposed to be doing which is healing so yeah he went for one of the focus on each side the three levels on the crit and the resonation as well and then we have in the cooldown to level three and then we have in two on the omni over here and then we have in the uh, intelligence in both sides for the uh, emblems this one it will be depending on which emblems you're having but it just to try to be getting as many emblems as possible that actually will be increasing the nods from the sides like over here as an example he, uh, the emblem i'm having here it's increasing the uh, the crit from this one here as well as the intelligence for you you can be choosing maybe you'll be lucky to get on this three over here so it's really good to be doing this one but it all, like I said, depending on the emblems you're having and your luck. And then we're having uh, the crit. It's one of the things to be actually increasing, especially because it's going to help out with the healing since it's increasing the chances of having over time healing even more. And then we have in the resonation one, the focus on both lines to level one. Then we go up to intelligence. And then we have the uh, the specialization effect and the crit and after that we go to the right over here the uh, the omni then we focus to be uh, unlocking this one here you can go for the uh, left side to cool down but it's completely your choice and since we're having a healing then i'm going for this one here to be increasing the resonation by 50 percent and then we have an two resonations we make into level three then we have in this the specialization effect to level one and the focus to level one and then we get the intelligence cooldown resonation and then we have in the stamina this stamina we only have unlocked it because we we will not be able to get the core in here without unlocking this one so that's the only reason and yeah uh, after we reach the top here then we will be going down to try to get the other two cores especially because it will be making a big big difference like for now actually i'm i'm going to actually do so to be unlocking this one here there we go and then it just to be getting two points to unlock the one in the middle this one over here you can do like that you can just lower the resonation on these two here and then we go for this one to be unlocking this one this will be given even more strength for the healing part and yeah um it just to be given a test to this build here and you will be actually going to see the big difference <laughs> yep it's just to be building this one and see the difference yourself it all will be dependent on the stats you're having on your gears as well as the emblems and all your luck with the emblems maybe you get uh, you know you can have some that is increasing the resonation or the crit by a hundred percent so it's all depending on how lucky you are so yeah that's all guys for this build today thanks to zach for uh, sharing this build with us here Make sure to be liking the video, subscribe to the channel, and drop in the comments what you guys think about this build. If you're thinking that he did some, um, he need to be having some adjustment into it. That's really gonna be helping him out as well as helping me 
to understand more around the builds and having some different opinions as well as strategies from all of us since we all have the same idea that we would like to get the best healing set we can be using especially because it's going to help with the raids and everything like that especially because now we have in the uh, the dragon raid have got unlocked so it's getting even more and more challenging so see you all with another video till then take care and enjoy your game